Welcome to Solar Energy. Right now we have come at REI at Greater Noida, and right now we are joined by Mr. Avinash Hiranandani, who is the Vice President and MD of Renewsys. Renewsys, for all of those who do not know, is a solar model manufacturer having its plant at Hyderabad, and currently it has a capacity of around two gigawatt. So let's start the conversation, Mr. Avinash. Thanks a lot for joining. This kind of thank you, thank you, Manish. Thank you, Solar Energy, for having me with you. So last time we talked to a lot of solar model manufacturers. They said that ALM was a headache, so they wanted the reimposition of ALM. Now this has been done. So how is the health of solar model manufacturers now? I think the people who are supplying good, genuine, transparent panels, they are doing very well. There are some newcomers who have come into the market after ALM has come because India needed the capacity. So they, it will take some time for them to get their lines full. But currently, the larger players, I think they are doing very well. ALMM has been extremely good for the manufacturers. And the doubts of the developers by now, I'm sure, are over that enough capacity is available in India and more capacity in solar panels is coming in India. What Renewsys has done is not only have we expanded our modules capacity, but Renewsys is also enhancing its capacity in Topcon solar cells, the latest technology cells. Plus, we have always been, we are in fact, Renewsys is the leader in encapsulants and backsheet. So we are making now EVA, we were always making POE and EPE, which are the new generation of encapsulants have also caught the fancy of the market. And we are supplying to almost everybody in the Indian market using these products. So I think after the reimposition of ALM, I think there has been a chedin for all the manufacturers. They are, I think, making more profits and they are now also planning to expand. So have you also planned to expand your capacity, adding new lines or start solar cell manufacturing too? Yes, when you say ALMM has brought in a chedin, that means we all have to admit that the solar module business was going through Buredin. So now the chedin have, okay, started coming in. We are thankful to the government for bringing in ALMM and we hope that they will bring in a similar protection for solar cells, which they have been talking about, and the ancillary industry. Today, a lot of encapsulants, glass, aluminum frame are coming from abroad, and enough capacity has already been built up in India. So if the government gives support to ancillary business also, it will be very good going forward. Highly supportive. And uh, to answer your question, uh, Renewsys is also increasing its capacity. We are today in modules at 1.8 gigawatt. We will be adding 2 gigawatts more very soon. So uh, this year, the like uh, PM Surikar was also launched. So rooftop solar residential rooftop se solar sector is creating kind of ripple in the solar market. But that required there is a mandate of DCR. So how the solar model manufacturer is seeing the competition coming up from the DCR? There is shortage of any kind of DCR cells? Yes, the DCR cells currently there is a shortage in the market. But whenever we get hold of some DCR cells, we also supply into the Pradhan Mandri Suryagar Yojana. But it's not enough. We would like to do more, but enough cells are not available. That's why Renewsys has sta uh, started on its plan to add more cell capacity in India. We have already ordered 500 megawatt Topcon cell line. And we are adding further 1.8 gigawatt. We may be signing the contract today for adding 1.8 gigawatt more, taking our cell Topcon cell line capacity to 2.3 gigawatt. So you are one of the few companies which has its which is which has its manufacturing plant at Hyderabad, South India. Most of them are in Surat or Gujarat. So why you choose Hyderabad? So we acquired the assets of a solar company called Solar Semiconductor in 2015 under the Surface E Act, and since then we have been operating that plant. And uh, since we acquired the assets, it has a large parcel of land. We have kept on growing our capacity in Hyderabad. Hyderabad, our factory is very close to the airport, very well connected by the roads. In fact, we have to thank the Telangana government that the infrastructure over there developing is excellently good and we have been able to capture the markets in the south also very easily. So now the MNRE has decided to include solar cell also into the LMM list. So how you see this will impact the industry? So I think it will be very easy for the industry to understand once LMM for sale comes in, that means the demand for cells goes up. That means India will have more cell lines coming up. So it will be an excellent opportunity for India to move from modules to cells. And once there is enough cell, I think about 40 gigawatt of cell may come up very soon. So once you have 40 gigawatt, that opens up space for ingots and wafers. So India will soon become self-reliant and not dependent on any other country. 
to have this energy security we have gone through a lot of challenges there are further challenges ahead but i'm sure india will become energy independent from any other country last question uh, the government reimposed the almm it also has a pli scheme so there are a lot of uh, from the policy side there is a lot of intervention from the mnre and the government do you think there is still some gap there is still something needs to be done from the government side so there are certain things that need to be done from the government side because the technology is changing very fast so if there can be an accelerated depreciation and things like that we have already given a letter to mnre what the expectation of the industry is because it is a very fast changing technology before you recover sometimes before you recover the machine cost technology has changed currently we are scrapping our old lines literally scrapping our lines and putting in new lines in this place you don't know how long these lines will last whether it will cover your standard 10 year depreciation no definitely not so some support over there would be helpful but we are very grateful to the government what they have done in terms of policy consistency now over a short period of time plus the government has ensured that the demand side is excellent so demand side is very important to run the line continuously so we are in the right path right direction and i'm sure we'll keep moving ahead so a lot of solar model manufacturers especially indian manufacturers are on the expansion plan and so they are they will need money and a lot of them are coming with ipo do you have any plan to launch ipo coming to the stock see so we are currently not going to come in the short time we are biding our time we are studying the markets and we may come but not not today not in the not in the next 6 months but we will definitely explore that opportunity